so it is time and we got the turbo upgrade ready for the Rodeo and we are compound turboing it. So I'll run you through what we're doing. We have the standard turbo which is there. That's our new comp, or well, the bigger one that's gonna be feeding it. That's a 2871 from Max Speeding Rods. And that's just gonna push into the standard turbo and then push into the engine. The reason I'm doing that is I like the little response of the standard turbo, it's nice and punchy, so we're gonna keep that. Just needed something on top. We have a 38mm external wastegate there, some bends to make a sort of spaghetti style manifold, and just some other stuff we're going to need. We've got boost controllers, oil line, wastegate, that's just the engine guard for the engine temps, and just some flanges I've made to make this all work, hopefully. And as you can see, I've already stripped all the exhaust sides, all the boring stuff's out the way. Pretty much just start making this happen. So as you can see, I've mounted the flanges to the head of the car, so that's how I'm gonna start my manifold. I've got this flange mounted to the turbo, so I'm pretty much gonna find turbo placement, put that on, and I'm gonna start working with how that one's gonna fit as well. So I'll put that on it for now, and Hopefully they'll go straight from the exhaust outlet of the small turbo straight into this one. But we'll try work it out as we go. This is going to be the hardest bit, is actually trying to mount these turbos with the... So we've got a bit of space, but there's not too much either. And we've got clutch and brake boosters in the way. So, see how we go. Tack that bolt in to hold our turbo position. So you can see that's where the flange is off the head. It's the flange for the turbos. I can take that off and start building out on the bench because that's going to hold the positions. But as you can see, this is where our turbo is going to sit for good, hopefully. Uh, it took a while to get this position, but that's because we have so much stuff in the way, like the clutch reservoir, which just misses the pipe but links the two turbos. So you can see in there. There's also a brake line there, the air con, which had to go, turbos had to go back far enough so I could run a pipe out here to that turbo. The air goes from that turbo to this one. And then there's also the oil cooler, which is down in that one there, which had to miss that turbo housing, which it does. So it took a while to get position in, but I think we've got it. It also gives us heaps of room to make a good manifold in here without being restricted with space because I need to fit an external wastegate, this one here. So I need to fit this in here somewhere as well on the manifold and then that'll go to this join. So that will run into there which will bypass exhaust gas from this turbo straight to the big turbo. So we'll start cracking on with that. Also, as you can see here, this is how I've joined the turbos. So that's just a two and a half inch thick wall pipe, uh, tight radius, and I've cut about 10 mil off this side to bring the whole turbo back, bring them close together, and that's really it. So that worked out quite well. I just got some flanges that I bought for the original Rodeo dump pipe, so it's tacked to that, and then that's just a flange for this turbo but I made this one but you probably buy them don't know what size they are but 
and yeah it sort of fits them together quite good um, this wastegate's disconnected on the bottom turbo because I'm going to run the external because I had the actuator on it which is there but it was hitting the block but with how far I've got the turbo spaced out now it actually might miss so I might actually put it back on there we go So what I've got here is just a jig to hold, just a jig to hold the flanges to make my manifold. So I'm using a whole heap of these inch and a quarter bends, which pretty much you just lay in there and join it up with some pliers to all come out there. So I'll start with that and progress from there really. But we get this manifold sorted, bolted to the car, bolt these turbos back onto the car, and then we can just start on the rest. idea with this manifold is going to be is I'm going to run pretty much merge it all together so one two three and four be together cut it through here I'm going to put this little merge piece in the middle so it's even banks really and then 90 there 90 up to the flange it's a bit hard to hold it there now and show you that's how it's going to be so Pretty much even flow up to there, there, there. Trim it all back, make it fit. That's really it. piece so I've got this bit that'll sit there that bit will sit on there and it should all interlock like that which it does nicely so I need to make two of those one for this side as well that's my wire piece which will go up on there so I'll join the two banks together nice and even and then my 90 to go onto there and followed by another 90 which will go there so have a look at that little cutout and then that just nicely goes into there.
So that's one manifold complete, half complete. Silver welded out and do the external waste gate. That will be with this, and I'll probably T-piece off that, run the external gate here. I'll right, we'll put this in the car, put the turbos on, see how it fits. Let's go back in. It's promising. So as you can see there, manifold is in. Still gotta be welded, it's just tacked. But I bolted the turbos on just to check, see if it's all good and clearances are still right. And yeah, it looks right. Got a bit of gap between there and the clutch reservoir. Bit of gap between the aircon. This is the brake line, and it's not sitting on that oil cooler, which you can't see anymore. So I see to run where this is gonna go now. Sit up here, somewhere about there. So I run that other elbow, merge it into that one, come out here, and then that's got to run into here somewhere, wherever I can get it to fit. So we'll start that now. my external wastegate set up so it's going to sit there and then feed in before the big turbo so this is to bypass exhaust gas around the little turbo so this is just a boost control lower exhaust manifold pressure everything like that so the gases will go around the little turbo in the big turbo and just spool the big turbo I'm going to get another external gate as well for the big turbo because that'll then control the overall boost and I'll just probably run a screamer pipe for that to make it sound cool So on the bit that goes between the two turbos, I've put this hole in it for the external gate and I actually got a little transition piece, I'll weld over it like that. So that'll sit there and then this gate will actually tack onto the top of it like that. And that's what will direct gas from the manifold straight into the big turbo in the second one.
All right, so as you can see, we have the external gate on. It goes from the manifold through the gate and into the pipe that feeds the big turbo. So bypass the little turbo altogether, which is there. So I'm pretty much happy with that. I'm gonna fit it in the car, see if it all still fits. It's all still tacked up still. That will bolt it to the car and see how she looks. Turbos are in and that looks good, like very good. Um, that will not hit the bonnet, I've already checked, and yeah, so that's only tacked together. We'll have to get it all welded out now and then we can start with everything else, but for now, that's pretty much where I'll end it and I'll keep going with this build. I'll do it in series, so this will just be part one and I'll just continue on from here.